Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This is What's New Tuesday. And one of the things you're seeing here is, of course, Advent Calendar, which has been going on for the last 13 days. Today is day 13, and this is the prize you get in Tuesday's Advent Calendar. So... Basically, I'm going to show you the stuff that's available in the store as well as something that is not, well, it's in the store, but you'll see what I'm, it is in there, but you get it for free. And it's really the most important thing, which is why it's going to follow this guy right here. So it would be very helpful if you could tell your friends and also consider leaving a like for that thumbs up, which will help spread this video across YouTube and then your friends when they see it uh, crud and your friends when they see it will have a chance to like and subscribe possibly as well so now we're going to go look at the, the thing that you need to look at these are the Tanksmas war chests so check these dudes out and this will be you know, either for you or not for you. So these Tanksmas war chests are like the regular private's war chest. Here is a wonderful Christmas photograph with an oddly dressed German soldier, Frosty the Snowman, for lack of a better name, with a helmet and everything. All right, anyway, holiday two-dimensional commanders. Here's what you get out of Tanksmas war chest. This is the important part. You can get... Standard commander plus 100 gold plus 500 experience. That's 69%. Standard commander plus 200 gold plus 1,000 free experience. That's 11% essentially. Christmas gear plus 200 gold plus 1,000 free experience. Another 8.5%. Standard commander plus 300 gold plus 1,500 free experience. That's 5%, which is basically 1 out of 20, uh, if, if that helps. Christmas gear plus 300 gold plus 1,500 free XP. That's another essentially 5% rounded up, 1 out of 20. And the ultra, ultra rare, but best prize of them all, commander plus a free premium tank. And the list of tanks, I'll get to that momentarily. Here is some of the Christmas gear that's available. Sparkler, holiday mailbox for Santa mail, which is awesome. Potbelly stove with exhaust. Nice giant, you know, 8 or 10, 12 foot Christmas tree. Fantastic. And back again to the sparkler. All right, premium tanks you can win. Hey, Vinny. That's Vinny. You can get the tier 9. German Kunzepanzer medium. Tier 8 American AMBT medium. Tier 8 Czechoslovakian SHPTK TVP100 tank destroyer. Tier 8 Frenchy Panhard EBR75. Or the probably, you know, super rare Soviet Tier 10. T-22 medium tank. And your potential Christmas commanders. Vinny himself. You have Frau Perste Young and Frau Perste Old. You have Belsnickel. Gavle Balkan. What the hell is that? I don't know. Badalisk. Zime Gorinich. That's Russian, obviously. That dragon. You have Olent Zero. I guess it's Russian. Yulupuki, that name looks Finnish to me. That's just me, okay? Kali Kanzaro, I don't know. Gesundheit on that one. Ziusia, I don't know that guy. Yamal Iri, again, I don't know him. Obviously, I know Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're the best of the bunch. I'm American, so what did you expect me to say? Gingerbread Man is a killer commander. I have him. Gingerbread Woman, I don't have. But she has a surprisingly Boston Celtics-looking jersey. 
that she's wearing. Hey, if you know what that is, great. And if you don't know, go look it up. I'm telling you, she looks like Boston Celtics. All right. There's Old Man Winter, which is cool. Uh, no pun intended, actually. And then the Snow Monster, which I have him also as well. So, And then last but not least, you have St. Nicholas himself. But please, I mean, St. Nicholas is fine if you're from some loser nation. But I'm from America. It's Santa, baby. He's the Mac Daddy of Christmas, all right? That's just the way it is. So that covers all of those guys. What's new Tuesday? Season pass is a season pass. Nothing has changed. Cold War tanks. All right, here's the biggie. And also World War II tanks. Metal Fest is back, meaning Megadeth and Iron Maiden tanks are back. You have a chance to get them if you didn't get them before. You know, a lot of, you know, good, decent tanks to play with. If that's what, you know, you're interested in. Those are cool. Something I have, if you don't have it, the Warden is a terrific medium tank. That's basically all I can tell you. It's terrific. World War II tanks. You've got resolutions. Check the website if you don't know about resolutions. You know, World of Tanks, you know, console. You have a couple of bargain deals there. I have basically both of those tanks from different sources. But, you know, that uh, Panzer 4S, the Schmaltorm, is a very good deal. And it's a pretty darn good tank. So that one is really the deal of the deal. Um, tier, what is it, 6? I think it's a Tier 6. It is a Tier 6. Great. Vinny and his tank have already covered that before. It's not new. So, scrameth, Vinny. Oh, reliable? Eh. I don't really, I don't really uh, recommend a Tier 9 single shot. Looks nice, but nothing spectacular. Very mediocre for a Tier 9. The Centennial looks pretty nice. Check that out if you're interested. Auxiliary. Here's what you got. Three Super Savers. We have Medium Boosters. 1.25 Silver. Times 3 Vehicle. And Times 6 Commanders. We have the Large Commanders. I mean Boosters. 1.5 Silver. Times 4 Vehicle. And Times 8 Commanders. Which I use to make my Commanders. And then we have the Mac Daddy of this one. Times two silver boosters. Times five vehicle boosters. And they help a lot, let me tell you. I used a bunch of those to advance myself down the list of the Bradley tree. And I finished the entire Bradley. That's all, folks. To advance myself down the entire Bradley tech tree to get the Bradley and then use them some more to upgrade the Bradley and then you also get the baddest boy and that's the, this one here the times five vehicle and then the baddest boy on the block the times 10 commander so those are fantastic I'm going to be buying probably all three of these these are the commanders this is all old stuff now this is something interesting that it didn't occur to me before but I'm going to tell you now if you don't have Megadeth, Vic Rattlehead, or Iron Maiden's Eddie, and let's say you're only going to buy one of them. Now, I like the band and the songs of Iron Maiden more than I like Megadeth. However, Megadeth has done the greatest Duke Nukem theme song version ever. And it's an awesome song. It's one of my favorites. I, I love it a lot. But there's way more songs that are good for Iron Maiden to me as a metal guy. But in the Commanders, the reverse is true. The Megadeth Vic Rattlehead is ten times better than the Eddie. Eddie is fine in looks, but his voice is this. Literally, that's what he does on just about everything you do. He does not speak. Vic Rattlehead has cool phrases. These are recorded personally with a voice modulator to make him sound cool and kind of quasi-haunted, but not terribly, by the singer of Megadeth, which is the redhead guy, Dave Mustaine. He did a phenomenal job 
And so I personally enjoy Iron Maiden as a band more than Megadeth, but I love the Megadeth Commander way more. I don't even use that stupid Eddie. Oh, man, it's, it's bad. I, I just can't take it. That's just me. So I'm like, go, Dave. You kicked ass on the Vic voiceover, and I don't pass this praise out lightly. That's how good I thought he was. He was outstanding. Iron Maiden Commanders, you can buy those if you want to get those. Again, they have the same, no thanks, bro. And the Megadeth Band, you can get that with the two-dimensional Vic Rattlehead, but I have the 3D. I don't need the 2D. That's just me personal. Although, if that's what you get, it's still the same voice. So the both Rattle, Vic Rattleheads are the same in the voice. It's just that 2D or 3D. All of the Iron Maidens have the same exact terrible voice. So they're all terrible, but they look cool. It's just, you know, what, what do you like? I always have to say this every week. Never buy silver with your gold. Gold is for rare stuff. Silver, go out, play the game, and earn it. You'll, en you'll enjoy it and appreciate it more. Appreciate your items more. If you earn the silver, you will. <laughs> so listen to Yoda. He knows what he's talking about. So again, parking pass, garage prep, day booster, no. Do not buy those with your gold. Save your gold. Your gold is valuable and rare. Just that simple. Download content. Get your season pack here for free if you don't already have it. It's got some boosters in there. It's great stuff. I don't waste my time on the rest of this. However, Brownie himself, as good a player as he is, says the Hydra IS-6 is highly recommended. And so I'm passing along to you the recommendation of Brownie, who is a terrific medium and heavy tank player. He says it's fantastic. I mean, it's an awesome and expensive, regular, premium tank, tier 8 Russian, uh, tier 8. But you're going to get, well, I'll just show it to you. You get the Hydra. You get a garage slot. You get 10 1.5 boosters. Fantastic. And you get 850 gold, all for $10 plus tax. A terrific bargain. Trust me on this one. That is the one download content item you should be looking forward to every month. You never know. I've gotten some great tanks out of the tank of the month. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Premium tank, uh, time, sorry, premium time. I do not buy this ever. How do you have 140 days, Duke? Real simple. I do contracts, get the three days, and then leave and go to another contract. I don't finish the contract. Because I'm going to come back and get three more off of it. <laughs> so I milk the contracts for three days. Get out. Go to another contract. Milk it for three days. Go back to another contract. That's preferably the easiest ones. And preferably the lowest tiers possible. They just go faster. And I can go and pound it out. The last premium time I ever bought was two months. In November 2023 Black Friday. I'm 2022 Black Friday. So it's been over a year, and I haven't bought any pr premium time at all. It's free. So go get it for free. Don't pay real money or gold for items that you can get for free. You know, a word to the wise. Convert resources valuable in the future if you need to get, you know, tank for free XP. War chests. This is the gambling section. I always tell people this is gambling because it is. But if you know up front what you're doing and have a limit, it can be very good, and useful, and also some fun. But don't get stupid. Don't become addicted to this. It is gambling. I'm just warning you. Treat it responsibly and you're fine. All right. So I showed you Tanks Must War Chests. They don't do anything for me personally. Instead of this, I'd buy this 11. Or instead of this 30, I'd buy this 30. This is just me. I have a 30-pack video coming up soon. You'll see it. Okay, I have another 11-pack video that I put out a couple weeks ago. It was awesome as well. This is where it is. So there's sergeant, there's general. Everybody has their own flavor of chest they want to go for. 
choose your own. I prefer private. It's just a lot simpler that way. Gold. The reason I do chests is because I don't do this gold business. But, you know, if you don't want to gamble, I could totally respect that decision and then buy your gold here. Okay? Just that simple. And also, do your long haul missions. Go to your challenges and look at the long hauls. If you if you complete 25 long haul missions a day, it's not hard to do. That translates into two long hauls in a week, the maximum you can get. And each long haul gets you one of these. Check this out. No, not tanks, miss. Private war chest. Well, actually, uh, this is not true. It will get you a chest, usually a private war chest. Sometimes, like the one I got last week, you get a sergeant's war chest just for completing those 75 missions. And sometimes, like the week before that, you might get one of these. Excuse me, one of these. Thank you. It helps when you hit the button, kid. So, a general's chest. So, do your long hauls. You're going to randomly get private mostly, sometimes sergeant, and every once in a while, a general. So that's that's what I've got. That's what I did. Save your gold. Save it for important items, okay? And never buy the tank war chest. I forgot to mention. It's terrible. I have a video about it. I have completed the uh, other thing that you do, the earn operation. I'm going to have a video of tank war chest explaining the whole thing. But don't buy these war chests until you see my video. And then don't buy them at all. Okay, that's a spoiler alert there. They're not a good deal. They, You might think they are. If you think it's a good deal, you haven't watched my video. Once you watch my video, I will explain it again. Why they're not a good deal. And to save your gold for actual good items. It's a gambling thing. It's, it's why it's not a good deal. You're gambling. And you gamble and win. It's a great deal. You gamble and lose, eh, not so much. All right, so that pretty much covers everything from What's New Tuesday. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully I showed you stuff that you didn't know or may, may not have fully you know, understood from whatever was presented in front of you. And that will help you in the future make better decisions, I hope, anyway. So it would help me... If you could leave a like, because that thumbs up will help spread the word. And the more people that see my videos, the more subscribers I get. And tell your friends. That way they can do the same thing you're doing. Possibly leave a like, possibly even subscribe. You never know. So I'd like to see you guys see in, you know, and watch my other videos in the future. Today, tomorrow, the next day, whenever. But I have more videos to make. Especially Tanksmas chest video and some game some killer game videos i have as well so i'm always doing something but i have new videos every day through christmas because i have to do it it's my compulsion anyway i'm trying to help people and i help people by this stuff so hope you guys are enjoying it hope you guys are having a good time hope you guys have good luck in your matches check back for more videos and i will see you guys again very, very soon. Thanks again.